Hey everyone, Dave Maxey here from HomeMusicStudio1.com. And I want to take a minute and answer a question uh, that was sent in by Mark. Uh, Mark just wanted to know how, uh, it, when I use Reaper, how do I create tracks like this that uh, are essentially creating some separation and some space in between one track group to another? So really uh, simple to do. I will say first that it's a little bit theme dependent, uh, depending on what that looks like. And so uh, I'm using Reaper, 64-bit uh, version of Reaper. And uh, uh, from there, uh, the theme that I'm using, if you go over here to options and themes, uh, I'm using the Albert C. Re-Evolution, uh, which is version two. And I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. And so uh, using this theme, you're gonna get to it no matter what, depending on the theme that you're using, you uh, you access it the same way. Just uh, the options you'll have in the menu I'm going to show you may be different from one theme to another. So how do we create this track right here? Uh, pretty simple. Uh, there's nothing recorded in it. We can drag this anywhere we want and, and just make some space from one track to another. Uh, maybe you can group your aug sends on, on one side of it and your drums on the other, like what I'm doing here. This is just a, a demonstration project. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, if you want to insert a new track, you can just double click down here uh, and or you can go up to the menu, insert track uh, using Reaper. And uh, here's my track right here. Uh, and so if we just uh, find our track that we've inserted, we don't need to do anything special to it. I'm just going to click on it and then uh, highlight it and then right click on the track. Or if you're using Mac, I believe it's control click. And then I'm going to go to set track layout. And we've got three options, the default, uh, the mixer panel, and the track panel. Right now we're in the track panel. And so I'm going to go over and select separator folder. And then you'll see this change to a separator. We can drag this anywhere we want. And uh, very useful uh, to just create space and, and bring some clarity there. Uh, now if I drag this up here, uh, make it the first track, and then we go over to our mixer panel, you'll see that uh, that track is right here and uh, it is not shown as a separator at all. There's nothing different in the mixer panel. Uh, that's because in the same view, uh, we need to uh, click on the track again, right click on it or control click on Mac, uh, set panel, set track layout, and under the layout we need to do in the mixer panel option, uh, select a separator folder. Now if we go to our mixer panel, then you'll see that that is uh, also a separator here and we can do the same thing. We can drag this in between our tracks. So very useful tool in Reaper. Uh, another one of the amazing things I love about Reaper uh, allows you to really highly customize uh, the look and feel of what things look like within your project, whether it's the mixer view or the track view. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, uh, this is a very quick tip. This is Dave Maxey with HomeMusicStudio1.com.